Hello everyone, I am Shine and you are watching Civil Engineering Tips channel. In today's video, we are going to model a two landing stair in ETABS for G plus 7 storied building. This figure is taken from the architectural plan of that building and here we can see that there are two landing. This is the first landing and this is the second landing. Story height is 10 feet and number of steps is 20. If we calculate the height of the riser, we will get the riser as 6 inch. With all this data and this figure, we will calculate the location of the first landing and we got it as 4.5 feet from the floor. And the location of second landing is 5.5 feet from the floor. Now we will model this two landing stair in ETABS. So further ado, let's dive into the main tutorial video. This is the ETAPS model of G plus 7 storied residential building. We will separate the stair portion from the whole building. Before doing that, let's observe the story data. For that, I will give a right click and choose add or modify grids. Then we will click on modify or show story data. Then here we will see that the typical height of the floors is 10 feet. And here ground floor ceiling is master story and other stories are following it and let's make the grade beam level similar to ground floor ceiling then we will go to this plan option and i will go for ground floor ceiling story and i will click on this ok option then i will select the similar storage option and i will select all the members that are involving in the stair portion Okay, I have selected all the required members that are part of the stair portion and now I will go for right click and select so selected objects only. Thus our stair portion will be separated from the whole building and now we can perform our job easily. Before doing that let's go to story data. I am clicking on modify or show story data. Then I am removing the grade beam from similar storage list. I am clicking on none and clicking on ok option. We already know the location of first landing and second landing. The location of first landing is 4.5 feet from the ground floor and the location of second landing is 5.5 feet from the ground floor but if we want to create two reference plane that will be created from the base that is the problem so we have to add this height with those heights from base to grade beam the height is 8 feet so we will add 8 feet with those heights and we will create two reference plane on each reference plane one for first landing and another one is reference plane two for second landing to create landing to create a reference plane i will give a right click and click on this add or modify grids then i will choose modify or show grid system then i will go for reference planes i'm clicking on it for the first reference plane i will click on this add option and here i will give the height i'm giving the height as 8 plus 4.5 then press enter and i will rename the reference plane name as rp on then press enter we will get a reference plane for first landing for second landing i will click on this add option and i will give the height as 8 plus 5.5 and i will rename it as rp2 then i will click on ok option and i will go for ok again ok so creating reference plane is complete to draw the first landing we will go to the plan option and i will choose the reference plane on and i will click on ok option we already know that the location of steer is within this area and the first landing is situated in this place before we draw the landing slab we have to draw the landing beam to draw the landing beam i have to activate the draw beam command i'm clicking on this 
icon and I will choose the frame section as landing beam 10 by 12 and I will click on this column first then I will click on this column then press escape to come out from this command and here the similar storage option is activated so we can say that this landing beam will be drawn to other storage also let's check that is it drawn or not yes we have got the landing beam for each story now it's time to draw the landing slab for that i will go to the reference plan on level i am clicking on this rp on level and clicking on ok option then zoom it little bit and pan it here like that the length of the landing slab is 6.45 feet before drawing the landing slab i have to fix the distance for that i will click on this draw beam icon and i will choose none option and from here it will be 6.45 feet and i will zoom it little bit if the line is not straight then you can press x to make it a straight line and find out 6.45 properly so i click here and i press escape to come out from this comment this line will be deleted i just drew that line to get the slab i am selecting the slab 5 option and i'm clicking on here and grab it like that and add this point then I press escape to come out this command and I will delete this line so I got the landing slab and this is the first landing similarly we can get the second landing also for that we have to go to the reference plane 2 level I am clicking on this arrow option and this is a reference plane 2 and I have to draw the landing beam first and I will draw the landing beam on the right side from this column to this column for that I will activate Activate this draw beam command and I will choose LB which means landing beam 10 by 12 and I will draw that landing beam for similar stories then I press escape to come out from this command now I have to draw the second landing slab and which is situated in this portion and that is 6.45 feet from this point similarly we can draw a none line to make sure that it is perfectly 6.45 feet i am clicking on this comment and i press x to make it straight and now the distance is 4.9 now it is 6 and it is 6.45 i just give a click then i press escape to come out from this command to draw the landing slab i will activate draw slab command and i will choose slab 5 and i will click on this point and go diagonally to the opposite point and draw the slab like this then I press escape to come out from this command and I delete this line so we got two landings and if we go to the 3d option we will see that it is drawn for the each story and it is ready to draw the waste slabs or we can call it flights there will be three flight this is the first flight this is the second flight and this is the third flight and and these slabs are called waste slab of stairs at first we will draw the first flight and this first flight is starting from the floor to the reference plane on now we will go to this plan option and we will choose this grid beam level and we will click on ok option let's zoom it little bit now we will draw first flight as waste slab and for that we will not activate this command we will use this command to draw the waste slab i'm clicking on this command and here the slab 5 inch is selected i will select waste slab 8 inch and then i will click on this joint then i will click on this joint and i will go up and we will get our first landing i will click on this point and this point then we will go down to complete this slab i am clicking on this point thus our waste slab is drawn successfully and if we go to 3d option then we will see that a slab is drawn here and it is waste slab 8 so we have got our first flight now it's time for the second flight which is situated in this portion 
for that we will go to this uh, first landing level I am clicking on this RP on level and now we have to start from these two points we will activate this command and I am choosing voice lab 8 and I will click on this point then this point and now it's time to go to the upper level and here we will get this second landing I click on this point and this point then I go down and complete drawing the waste lab and we can see that the direction of load distribution is okay we press escape to come out from this command I click on this 3d option and now we will rotate it little bit and check drawing is okay or not So our second flight is complete now we are going to draw the third flight and third flight is starting from the second landing and ending to the upper floor for that we will go to the second landing level and for that we have to choose G plus 7 reference plan RP2 level I am clicking on ok then we zoom it little bit like that to make it easier to draw similarly we will activate this icon to draw the waste slab and we will start from this point I click on this point then I click on this point and I go upper level and we will get the ceiling level of that floor and then I will click on this point and on this point then I will go lower level then I will complete the third flight drawing but here we can see the distribution direction load distribution direction is wrong so I don't think it is acceptable I'm clicking on escape option then I select the waste slab like that or I click on this undo option then the slab will be gone and we will start again similarly we can activate this command then we click on this point this point and go to the upper level and click on this point and this point and go to the lower level now we will change the angle as 90 degree I'm typing here 90 then press enter and I complete the drawing and now this time the load distribution direction is accurate so if we go to the 3d option then we will see that our stair drawing is complete and we can see that this is the first flight this is the first landing this is second flight this is the second landing and this is the third flight and it is drawn to the each story because we selected similar storage option we don't have to draw for other stories if we go for the rendered view then it will be more clear to understand the drawing is okay or not so here we have completed the stair drawing like that let's go for analyze and check model and we select this one and click on ok and we see there is no warning so our model has been checked and it is warning free and we will go for show all objects I will click on right button and we will go for show all objects option and we will get the model back so this way we can draw our two landing steer in our building I hope you all understood the process if you have any question then please let me know in the comment box I will give you reply immediately thank you everyone stay happy stay safe see you in the next tutorial